Good morning. This is the week of September 14th through the 18th, and we're doing a video here to show you where to start and how to get started uh, throughout the work that you're going to be doing for the week. Notice that if you're in Google Classroom for the week of September 14th, you will see a total of nine actually numbered assignments with a few things posted in between, like here and here. Each of the numbered assignments is something that we're going to do. If it says homework out beside it, both in class and virtual learners are doing that definitely at home. If it does not say homework, these are activities that I am doing in class with the students who are attending. Virtual, you will do it as well. You'll just do it on your own or you are invited to join us with one of our live Google Meets. We will record it and we will post that as well so that you can hear and see us doing these assignments and you could do them with us. If you watch the recording, keep in mind that we open it five to 10 minutes before we actually start the lessons because we're giving time for people to log in at, and have time to be there for the beginning. So sometimes if you're watching the recording, there are several minutes of just Miss Stone looking at the screen and that's just her waiting for any students that are logging in so that she can wave and talk to them uh, through chat if needed, if they have any questions as well. So just bear with it when you're doing that. We have had a few things that were some technical difficulties. We're trying to work on making this better, but um, that's why we're doing this now so that we have this particular video. Okay, so one, start here. This will be where we will post this particular video on how to get going, and it will be where we will post the recordings of the Google Live for you. The first assignment that we will have is a quick write. Every week when we come into class, our first five to ten minutes is a quick write. This is a, uh, it will be scheduled. You'll have a link to click on from uh, uh, No Red Ink, and it'll take you straight to your assignment. Uh, usually I also am going to have some weeks a video of music that you can watch and listen to that will go along with the quick write uh, and or our topic. Like right now we are looking starting into the Odyssey, hence you wrote about uh, a hero last week. This week we are starting in a quick big picture of Odysseus's story both from the Iliad and the Odyssey and getting to know him. That was part of your homework that you were reading. So we're going to be writing now, is the word Odyssey a good name for this particular story? After you finished with your quick write, again, it should only be five to 10 minutes. We will move to a Nearpod crash course on the Odyssey that you will watch. Uh, it will have a link posted right here in the class. It's our, it, it'll be in the classroom and you will watch there. And it does have questions built within that you have to answer as you go through. Oops, I'm scrolling down. Now, after we do that, we're actually going to be doing some reading and uh, annotating in some Google documents. And I posted this here. This is an extra credit assignment, how to annotate a Google document. You may know how to go in and post and how to highlight and how to post comments. And that's wonderful. If you don't or you're not sure, you can do this activity. It takes maybe 10 minutes to go through. You'll actually have an assignment that you can do at the end. If you do that and submit it here, then I will count that as an extra credit grade. Again, it's not required. This is just an extra credit for you. But that takes us to our next actual assignment. We have a poem about the place called Ithaca. Ithaca is an island and it is the home that Odysseus was from and king of. So we are going to listen as we, uh, we have uh, Sean Connery read it with some music in the background and we have pictures from the actual island of Ithaca with that. What he is reading here is written here. So you wanna open this so that you can follow along as he reads it. We will actually be reading this poem three times. In the first one, you're going to be asked to take a color and highlight the words you do not know. Then you will look those up and answer them over in the comments. This is that annotation part that I was talking about. Second time we read, now that you understand any words you didn't know, you're gonna highlight with a different color images that you like, images that stand out to you. 
The last time we read, you'll answer the questions at the bottom of the page. You do not have to listen to Sean Connery read it all three times. I would listen to it the first time through, and then each one you're reading on your own. We will in class listen once to him, and then I will be reading it out loud as we go through. Okay? And again, if you didn't want to do the extra credit, because this is an extra 10 or 15 minutes to do this, here's a quick one-minute video on how to annotate. All right? So, Ithaca, the poem about the place where Odysseus is from. Next, we will be looking at another poem. This poem is called The Muse, The Invocation to the Muse, and it is actually a part of the uh, book, The Odyssey. It's at the opening. And this is to give you an idea of how these stories are written. It is a poem, a gigantic, long, 24 book long poem. So it is written in verse. It has a certain rhyme. It has a certain beat or rhythm to each line. It has a certain number of syllables, all of that that's within that. And it uses specific descriptive language. So what I have here is the copy of the muse. And over here is Read and Write for Google. It is a uh, extension that you have. It's located up here that you can turn on. It actually looks like this once you have it active. It can read it aloud to you if you would like it read aloud. Um, but it's one of those where it's, it might sound a little funny. It's not as nice as Sean Connery's voice. We in, cl in class will read this. We will read this three times again. And you will be annotating. The first time is always for words you do not know looking those up, writing over in the, the side what it means, reading it a second time now that we know those, wor those words mean. And then you're going to be doing something with imagery, and then you have a third reading. So each time is three readings each time with a different assignment. And again, I posted here if you forgot how to annotate inside of your document. I do want to point out that when you open this, the screen's going to be all black because it's an original Word document. And up at the very top, it will say open. So it looks like this. And when you click open, you want to go here and you want to open with Google Docs. It'll take a minute or two or three. It will get there. And there is your poem so that you can edit and work within it. Okay, here is the directions. And down below, there is your poem from the Invocation to the Muse. Okay, so let me go back. So keep in mind, you have to open that in a different, uh, in Google Docs. The sixth thing we'll be doing and last thing in class is looking at epic similes and epithets. You remember similes. Similes are descriptive language where we compare something using the words like or as. Well, they really like similes in this particular type of epic poem. But in this case, instead of the simile being something like you know, she, uh, the ocean is like a girl inviting us into the water, you know, beckoning us with its waves. I don't know, something like that. Well, you have the like or as, and it's simple. It's maybe a one or two line. These in this poem can actually be three, four, five, six lines long. You can almost forget what it was talking about. So what you're going to do here is you have a Google Doc and you're going to open this. And I at the top talk about epic similes and I will give you an example and ask some questions about it from the actual story, the Odyssey. Then we will look at epithets. Epithets is like titles or names with this. Um, and I want you to look at those. I will have um, a link posted that you can watch that's from the Game of Thrones to give you an, an idea how we use epithets. And again, in this response, you'll have an example from the Odyssey where you'll see some and then you are going to be asked to create your own. So you will do this. There'll be a link to watch and then you do the epithet at the end. Okay, that's what we're doing in class. At this point, we pick up on homework. Welcome to school. Okay, your first homework every week, Membean, 30 minutes, due by Sunday night. 
I put this here. This is listen while you read just for fun. So this is a playlist of a variety of music where people have either used Homer's The Odyssey uh, or some of, so it might be Brave, uh, Ulysses is another name that he goes by in the Roman writings. Uh, so it's stories of him, Calypso, which is one of the goddesses that he hangs out with for a while, The Sirens, which is a story we're going to read. Um, it's about Penelope being at home, left alone or lonely or him leaving her. So it's just a lot of fun if you would like to put this on to listen to. It is quite a variety of music, anywhere from psychedelic music from the 70s to Pearl Jam and R.E.M. You have some folk singing. You have just, just a variety. So you might find that interesting to listen to because here you are going to be reading. You must read both of these scan documents. The reason being is this is the story. This is a graphic novel from the Odyssey. But when we scanned it, two pages got left out and that's on the very end. And so I've added those here. So you read this and then you would read this. Once you have finished this, I want you to go back to the article you read for homework last week and just read up to what you read through. Get all of that, that storyline in your mind. After you read, you have a question to answer. Answer this question. So you have a question to answer. One single question right there. And then you have one last, and this is Aristotle. And he actually made a comment about the Odyssey. And you're going to read his quote. And then you're going to look at the, you know, from reading the muse and the graphic novel, you're going to have three, I think it is maybe four questions that you will answer inside the Google document. So that will be your homework that is going along so that you are prepared both for next week's work as well as um, doing some work with the, uh, the information that we work with today. Don't forget, if you have questions, if something's not working, ask us. Now, occasionally somebody can't open a document. All of the documents that you're supposed to be able to type in, have been, you have been given permission to do that. But if on your screen, you have more than one Google account possibly open, then it won't, Google says, exact quote, is that it can't tell which account you're always in. And so it won't let you open something that must be open through a school account. So if you ever hit that, be sure you go through and just close everything down and open up only in your school classroom um, with your uh, school Google account. And that way it should have no problems working. All right. Uh, hope you guys have a great week, weekend, and hopefully we'll see some of you at the Google Meet and others we'll see in class. Goodbye, everybody.